Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at Mega Markers and Labels Update. All right, I jammed all of these updates into one. Uh, some have, have are newer than others. Some have been around for a bit, but let's have a look at markers. First of all, I'm in the Essentials workspace and I've also opened up the markers panel and it's placed over here. I've added a bunch of markers in the timeline and on clips so that we can see them. So you can see these markers here are sequence markers. Here are clip markers. And if I double click on that clip, you'll see its marker load in the source monitor. That's no different, but have a look over here on the right where we're looking at clip and sequence markers all together. I'm going to open up the little flyout menu, the little hamburger menu and show you some of the updates. You'll notice that um, time code, sequence time code command has been removed. Uh, the sequence time code will always be enabled now. Uh, you can show all markers, just show the sequence markers. So when I select this, the clip markers no longer show. Or if I want to show just the clip markers, then they show up. Go back to showing all markers. And you can also show the in and out of uh, a clip, a marker. So if I open that up, you'll see that's the in and out point uh, for that particular marker. If we hit in and out on the timeline, you'll see approximately where that falls between those uh, different markers. You can also see what happens when you select clips. So these clips have no markers, no markers, no clips selected, all markers. Clip marker selected, it just shows that, select two of these, they both have clip markers on them, select four clips, it only shows two because that's what I have selected. And you can turn this off, ignore selection in timeline. That way every clip and sequence marker will be visible in the marker panel, regardless if it was selected or not. Deleting markers can be a little hard, especially if, if you're here on the timeline and you've got a bunch of these and you're trying to delete them, there's, there is no way to, you can't drag select these, but you can select them right in here and then just hit the backspace key on the Mac or delete key to get rid of them. Now, if you look at the labels, you might notice that they're very vibrant. They're very different. Adobe has added the ability to save, import, export, share, all of the labels so much easier. Go into the Edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on Mac, Preferences, Labels. Down at the bottom right, there are label color presets. And here you can revert, uh, the, I haven't changed these, but if I did, you could revert them. You can save, you can import, and you can open where they're being saved. I love this. Click here and it's going to open the folder where these are. Excellent for sharing these. Adobe is notorious for hiding things in folders in the documents folders or in a profile folder. It's nice having that because now you can just share that on a server with a bunch of editors, stick it in email, whatever you want. So this is vibrant. If we go back to the default and click OK, you'll see everything change on the timeline. Go back into my preferences. And there's classic, which is seems very much the same. Uh, vibrant is what I had. And then there's another one here called editorial. And you'll see that the label defaults all change uh, accordingly. So depending on, on uh, what they have. But in the editorial, this one, instead of being colors, this one says video, movie, audio, and video, video. Video is video. Audio is audio slash dialogue, stills or graphics, sequences, dynamic link, bins are bins, and captions are captions. So it's up to you how you want to work with those, but you could now easily share them. Clicking on any one of these brings up a color picker so you could change that color. And this is where you see that button, the revert when I click 
revert and it reverts back. Click OK and I'm back to there and that easy. So this is the update for labels and markers. Fantastic work. In the beta right now, um, uh, it's not shipping and I, I don't really like to show a lot of beta stuff, but coming up in the beta is the markers will show in the text panel. So right within uh, adding text, the markers will be in there to help you navigate through uh, dense text patch passages. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once, monthly, any amount. We really do appreciate everyone who supports us. Thank you so much. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get all excited about trivial little things like labels and markers, but I think they could be useful. Hopefully you'll find them useful.